Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class, the tarot class a flash sale, but I never announced it to you. So you who are following me on YouTube, you never knew about that. It's thirty percent off, and in order to get to this uh, to this sale, uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page, and I'm gonna sort you out from there. So uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so let's see what we have for a Cancer Sun Moon and as well rising in regards to uh, their career for the upcoming week. So uh, let me just uh, shuffle the cards and and try to be as uh, fast as possible with the shuffling because no one's, nobody really enjoys uh, watching me shuffle. I don't enjoy myself shuffling either. So uh, first one we have for you in terms of career is going to be the, the tower card followed by the sun card on the second position. Moving next, that is going to be the king of uh, wands. And the last one for you, Cancer, that will be, in terms of career, that is going to be the Chariot card. So quite of a volatile week, it is what we do have in terms of career. Based on the Tower card at the very first position, you can expect things really to go sour. And, and shit's really to hit the fan in, in certain stages uh, or in certain places in terms of your career. Now, the thing is that it is not your fault, okay? And, and those things that are to happen are quite, how can I say, quite unexpected, that nobody could have ever predicted. Like, I was talking with a client recently uh, that wanted to invest in a um, in a real estate, you know, to start making businesses with real estate. And uh, uh, sh the client itself was uh, quite uncertain, should, should she do, do that? And uh, I told her, well, imagine if you have invested in a hotel before the COVID and a couple of weeks later, COVID hits, you know? So it's something that does not depend on you. Now, that's the whole point here of the reading. Now, throughout this whole procedure, um, you will have, I can't say that you're going to have the, um, how can I say, the opportunity to shine about and to prove yourself extremely capable into managing crisis, but the very least you are going to be able to become stronger uh, moving off or moving through, you know, those rather time tumultuous times and times of turmoil. Because at the very end here with the chariot, we do have where you actually ending up in a triumph. Okay. And even with the chariot, that is in the most of cases, a triumph against all odds. And the best it is that you're going to have the support of the, uh, how can I say, of, uh, of the management, those who are in charge. That is seen here into the uh, king, of, uh, king of wands. Now, uh, needless to say, we do have the sun card into the, into the second position of the spread, which pretty much points that you ain't gonna like it at all. As a matter of fact, having that card in this position, it also points that um, there will be conflicts in between you and your co-workers, you know, in between you and, uh, and your boss maybe as well. Nonetheless, your boss is gonna have your back. It is because their ambition for what it seems, it will be to get the company or the business out of that crisis that is gonna hit the business itself. And, uh, or the crisis that hits your projects, okay? Because it, it does not have to hit the entire business, but the project that you are working on. And uh, yeah, by having their back order that they are not agreed with uh, your uh, with your methods, or they may not be agreed with uh, you know with the way that you tackling with things, they may not be agreed as well with the, the system that you are using. But they will agree that they will have to support you right now because there is nobody else to get the job done. And as said once again you're not going to be that happy from what is going on around in terms of your career but 
it's nothing that you can do about it, but to gnash your teeth and really push through, which is exactly what you're going to be able to do. And uh, at the end, uh, you're going to be accoladed for your efforts. Okay, so really, people are going to recognize for the skills you have incorporated into the uh, into the crisis that you had to manage. And uh, as well, you're going to um walk walk out of that thing much stronger and much more and with much more consolidated position so ultimately yeah as it's going to uh overwhelm you with storm and it's going to uh the the week itself in terms of career is going to make it rather difficult at the end it's going to have a nurturing and cleansing effect uh upon your career and a few words for those who are looking for a job uh, basically, what the cards are pointing it is that they will have to satisfy with the job that pretty much goes beyond their uh, or beneath. I'm sorry, beneath their expectations for the time being, and it is entirely up to them to decide should they get should they get the job or not. But ultimately, at the end, uh, even though the job may um, may not justifies the expectations of the subject or of you, Cancer. You can grow in that place should you give the place a chance. So next one that we are going to have a look at that is going to be in terms of a relationship. So let's um, let's shuffle the cards once again and let's see what you're going to have there. So first one in terms of your uh, relationship is going to be the seven of uh, wands. Moving next, we do have the nine of swords followed by the star card. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the queen of cups. So those, uh, can, can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. So those are the four cards you do have in your relationship, uh, life and cycle. So straight away, um, those that are single. Uh, this week, uh, you guys are going to have a lot of, um, how can I say, a, lo a lot of doubt and second guesses towards yourself. Are you not going to mess around with certain things or literally said, are you not going to fuck up with things around uh, in, in, in regards to your um, to your suitor and in regards to the person that uh, pretty much you are you are enjoying and the probably that you do want to be with like your ex you know and like your person of interest and etc etc so that being said you are going to be rather quite conservative with your actions you are going to be rather quite so of a uh, hesitant if you will and quite guarding in the sense of that you ain't gonna act unless you know that your action it's going to produce a hundred percent results i don't know how to say it in another way probably there is a, a better way to say it in english but I uh, excuse me for my uh, incomplete English uh, vocabulary. So that being said, um, on the other hand, it does look like that whatever interest you do have in terms of this uh, in terms of this week, and especially if that is a new interest, uh, you will have to uh, toil quite a lot to turn their mind around that you do represent an interest for them, okay? So even if you mess around with certain expectations of theirs or you say something inappropriate, it doesn't look like that they are going to um, kind of like con uh, condemn, you, uh, condemn you for it. And so even if things may not go smooth for you throughout this week, uh, things should normalize moving with the weeks forward. Now, unfortunately, with those cards, I cannot say that you definitely are going to end up in a relationship, but um, things are likely to get better and better with the person that you do want to be with, unless you do not have an extreme grievances, okay? 
If you do have an extreme grievances, still things are possible, but in the very, very distant future. Now, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, if you do have a relationship, if you are one of those that are happily in, in relationship or even not happily in relationship right now, uh, the week itself is going to give you an opportunity to expand on the, on the love you have, or rather like to unfold the love that you already resign within you and within your partner. So that is a week where you are going to have a chance to improve your relationship, to quench that relationship, to consolidate it, and so on and so forth. Now, that it is only possible if you overcome your fear that if you do something, you are going to be duped, you know, and, and that is a very common thing in terms of a... Um, in terms of relationships, you know, you are afraid to speak up because you think that those words are going to be the last straw and your partner or your husband or your wife is going to leave you for that. Now, uh, and this this standpoint, it is, it is exactly what may cause you being not as happy as you can be or even miserable into the current relationship where you are. Now, Finally, what we do have here in terms of your relationship, it is that you may have a, an envious person around. That is very well described here with the uh, seven of uh, wands. And that person may start spreading gossips and may start spreading rumors about certain aspects of your relationship. For example, that could be an envy girlfriend you do have that really likes your boyfriend and she starts to presume or suggests that your boyfriend is cheating on you and you may be quick to judgment because of we do have the nine of swords there you are prone to give yourself away to your fears okay now instead of being quick, quick to judgment and condemn your wife or your husband or whatever to anything you hear check it against what you know to be true and that way you are going to avoid a serious deterioration and as well decimation as well if you will in terms of your relationship and uh, should you do so finally at the end you are to find that uh, you are actually in a very very caring hands Hopefully that makes sense to you because I don't know for, for me what that would have been because I am pretty much single. But in terms of relationship, this is what the card says. That should you nurture the love you have and you're not quick to judgment and you do not give yourself away to the fears you may that may reside in your mind, you're going to find yourself at the end in a caring hands and loved company. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading cancer. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.